Hey guys, Chris with Superfast RC, and today we're taking a look at these super nice 3D printed tire gluing jigs. These are made by a seller on eBay called Evis11, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'll link it in the description below. But um, these are affordable options for tire gluing jigs, guys. And there's no hiding the fact that these are 3D printed, um, but they're really well built and they work well. Um, you know, this is really cool because it's offering both sizes. You don't typically see that. You typically see the buggy size only, but he's making the truggy size, which is super nice. And I've used this already and it worked very well. So if you don't know what a tire gluing jig does and what its main process is, um, technically you don't need it. It's just kind of a speed and convenience thing. You can definitely glue tires faster, I think, with a jig than without, um, but it can be done properly both ways there is no wrong way if you don't you want to use a jig you don't have to i mean i think it's cool it's a cool little product um can i glue without a jig yes i do it all the time but these are super cool they're affordable they're like 30 dollars a piece you can get them on ebay for like i said i think it's if it is 11 or something i'll link it in the description but anyways let me show you what they got going on so 3d printed there is uh, Phillips head hardware there and it just latches down like that and how it works let me pull the truck you went out of the way for a minute this is an unglued tire this is a raw speed Mach 1 brand new tread pattern now really nice guys I actually ran these and was really impressed with them um, but anyways not talking about the tire at this point talking about the jig so what you'll do is you get your unmounted tire you clean the bead and you know do your uh, punch your holes for your venting you're going to go ahead and place the tire in the jig, push the latch down and latch it. And what the jig does is it kind of pinches the tire down. You can see that right there, pinches the tire down. And then you just run your glue bead around there, around the edge of the jig. And then when you release the, the clamp, it goes down and it, the tire contracts back around the wheel and your glue is evenly dispersed throughout the bead which is really nice and it's super, it's speedy if you get good at it with the jig. You can definitely glue a tire, a set of tires very quickly. Um, so after you get the glue in there, you have this glued and everything, go ahead and put your tire band on and just set it to the side. Um, and then, of course, you know, you clean off your bead and whatever. But same, same process on the reverse. You just put it down, get it clamped. The jig will produce the kind of the crimp the tire down so you can get into the bead there you run your glue bead and then you just release the clamp and voila the bead the tire it contracts back around the wheel and you have a nice evenly dispersed gluing surface there inside the bead of the wheel so it's just a convenience feature no you don't have to have these is it a cool factor? Is it definitely a plus to have? I believe it is. I think it's a major time saver and a headache saver. And for the price, you know, these 3D printed ones, um, I don't see any real difference from the fancier ones you can get from like hobby stores. And I haven't seen one that will do Truggy yet at the hobby shop. So um, basically the same design, just scaled up. This one obviously has already been glued and it's been ran, but just for demonstration here. It does the same exact thing. Pinches down on the bead of the wheel, and you clamp it, and voila, you have a gluing surface exposed. Release, rinse, repeat. So check these out, guys. These are super affordable and super nice. You can actually, he will color code the plastic if you want to in the description when you order the, you place your order on eBay. If you want a specific color pattern, you can put that in there. If not, you're going to get random, which is what I got. I got random, and I don't really care what it looks like, to be honest. But, um, yeah, super sturdy construction. It's got, like a, I guess, like a waffle pattern in here, so I wouldn't worry about it breaking. So, Anyways, guys, just been a quick look at these trick tire gluing jigs you can get on eBay. Link's in the description. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.